Hello traders, uh, hello traders, uh, the title of this video is Helio Wave Trader explains a parallel wave count strategy. Helio Wave Trader explains a parallel wave count uh, strategy. Alright, so I think I've posted a video before about the parallel wave counts. Alright. And today we want to look at it one more time, and uh, because it's so important for traders. First reason why it's so important is because the parallel wave count will help your wave count. So sometimes we have financial instruments that uh, that uh, financial instrument that have similar price stretches, or financial instrument that often, often, all right have a similar price structure one example for instance is that you if you are looking at the Dow 30 components all right the market one of the market leaders for the, the Dow 30 component is Boeing stock all right? another one is Isom mobile all right so sometimes you may look at a market leader that belong to a group and use the earlier wave or the price structure of that market leader okay as uh, a prototype am i making sense to compare that wave counts with that wave counts with the component of the group am i making sense to you now so you have a group of stocks one two three four five thirty stocks and you have a market leader so all you do you go and perform an earlier wave analysis to the market leaders now, now you will have it. You can photocopy, you can copy and paste it, and you have it. Now, as you are counting wave, all right, analyzing other store that belong to the same group, you use the price structure of the market leaders, and you will compare it so to other components. Very often, what you will notice is that the component of the group will try to mimic or duplicate the price structure of the market leaders. This is about wave count by comparison. I think the previous video that I recorded, the title was Wave Count by Comparison by 24 Elliott Wave YouTube channel. Check it out, Wave Count by Comparison. You may notice also, for instance, the Nagza 100, the two market leaders for the Nagza 100 is uh, our Google and Apple stock. So you may count wave for Apple stock, count wave for Google, and you have, you have those uh, price structure in place. And now you, anytime you are counting wave, all right, you are counting wave or analyzing any component of the Nagza 100, you will refer to the wave count of the market leaders sometimes you will be surprised how the price structures of the market leaders will help you to identify the first the second way even to forecast the price structure of a component of that group very very powerful <laughs> all right very very powerful this is what i call parallel wave count it's a parallel wave count strategy using a the price structure of a specific uh, security, a price structure of a stock, to forecast the price structure of another financial instrument. Sometimes the wave count can become complex. You are analyzing, you are counting wave, can become complex. But just by referring to another uh, stock that has similar, that often, that often has a similar price structure, you will be able to decipher, so to speak, okay or remove the complexity of your wave count am i making sense let me know in the comment section all right another example is this you may see for instance so the dow jones index talking about stock indices or stock indices i don't know why sometimes they use indices let me know in the comments why sometimes they use indices sometimes they say indices all right okay so you, for instance you say dow jones index all right you may count way for the dow jones index now you will use the dow jones price structure as a model okay for the dow jones component 
the price structure of the Dow Jones uh, Index itself can help you forecast the price structure of the Dow Jones components. Am I making sense? You can compare the wave count of uh, a, a Dow Jones component to the Dow Jones Index itself. You can compare the price structure or okay, compare the price structure of a component of the Nasdaq 100 to the price structure of the Nasdaq 100 index itself. Using the price structure of the, the a stock index will also help you to improve your wave count when you are analyzing a component of that index. Is it clear enough? Am I making sense? Let me know. Let me know, please. <laughs> okay, let me know. It's quite advanced strategy. It's like uh, sometimes it's like you are cheating a little bit, all right? Sometimes you will see what's going on. So let me show you one example here. You may say, Joe, you're talking a bit too much today. You're not showing anything. All right. So let me show you one example. I'm looking at um, um, the US dollar, Norwegian corn. Norwegian corn. Believe it or not, we have a TST traders. Okay. <laughs> Norwegian TST corner, uh, Norwegian TST traders, we have them. So don't be surprised when I'm analyzing this uh, currency privacy job. Why are you analyzing US dollar, Norwegian corn? Well, there are traders out there also. Okay. So here it is. I'm on a monthly chart counting waves. And uh, in fact, this wave count was uh, on the weekly chart or I performed it on the weekly chart. Hold on, please. Here we are. Okay, so I see first wave, second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. Okay, followed by one, two, three, and this move up is a flat correction. We are expecting the the C part of the flat correction to be completed. But you can see in this session here, the price start consolidating here, and I'm wondering what's going on. What's going on? Why the price is consolidating? As we are expecting the uh, the C part of the flat correction. All right. But I know something else is that there is uh, there are similarities uh, between uh, the U.S. dollar Norwegian corn and the U.S. dollar Swedish krona. I know that. So talking about wave count, okay, parallel wave count strategy, we go now today to look at uh, the U.S. dollar Swedish krona is coming up. Here it is. Look what's happened here. We have one, two, three, four, five. Then we have a consolidation before the B part of the flat correction. Now we are expecting the C part of the correction. You see now? So there was a consolidation before the B part. What, is, what, what, what this is telling me now? Look at this structure here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh, but in fact, uh, before it break above it, all right. But in fact, there was a consolidation in this session before the B part. Remember this structure. Look at this structure carefully. Pay attention carefully to this price structure. Okay, this is U.S. dollar, Swedish krona. All right. Let's go now and look at the U.S. dollar Norwegian krona. This time on the weekly same time frame, wave count by comparison or parallel wave count strategy. All right. Use the same time frame. You can you will have to use different all right financial instrument when you are comparing the wave count of one financial instrument to another okay but look here we have the one two three now we didn't have a consolidation before the b part but we strictly we quickly have the b part so what is going through your mind is the inverse if i cover this now let me cover this one okay, if i cover this now you will say one, two, three, consolidation, and you will be expecting the B part of the flag correction. But the B part is has already taken place. All right. So, <coughs> my apologies to traders. So, just clearing my voice. So, there is, in my view, looking at the two, okay, price structures. I can understand why this consolidation is taking place here because there is a similarity between the price structure of the US dollar Norwegian corn and the US dollar Swedish krona. This consolidation will take place for a while before we see all right the C part of the flat correction. 
All right. We will expect a bit of consolidation here, one, two, three, all right, before we have the C part of the flat correction. All right, because of the similarities uh, that exist between the, okay, okay, those are two currency pair. All right, so we can use uh, the price structure of a, another financial instrument as a model, okay, and we compare our wave count if there are similarities, all right, uh, between the two, okay, uh, financial instrument, all right. What, like I explained to you, you can use a, a, a stock index and compare the price structure of a stock index to the component. We can use the price structure, the wave count of a market leader, and we will compare, okay, other component of the same group to the market leaders. All right. If you want to know more about market leaders, go to www.dayprotrader.com. Click on Market Watch. I talk about uh, the Dow 30 market leaders. I talk about the Nasdaq 100 market leaders. All right. We can also use market indicators. So one example of market indicators: gold, silvers. Those are market indicators. All right. We can use uh, another market indicator that they ignore is the, the US dollar yen is a market indicator. So the price structure of a market indicator, comparing it to other financial instruments that uh, has a, that have a similarity with uh, that uh, uh, first financial instrument that we we are analyzing. This is about okay. Uh, Area wave trader explains okay a parallel wave count strategy, but we want to make sure that we are comparing the wave count okay of the same time frame. So if you count it on the weekly time frame, you have to compare that wave count on the weekly time frame when you are comparing it to another financial instrument. But there should be one leak or another with the other financial instrument. First question. Okay, are they belonging to the same group? Is he a market leader? Is he a stock index? All right. Is he a market indicator? All right. Then you can compare it. So you can compare any financial instrument to a market indicator. All right. So let me know how you find this video and uh, try to, to see whether you may see some uh, similarity between two currency pairs and uh, sometimes you may be counting wave the advantage one another advantage that sometimes by looking not okay so we traded that are trading for us talking about uh, correlation between currency pair we know that uh, the euro dollar and the british pound okay us dollar currency pair are positively correlated so sometimes, if you are counting wave on the uh, the pound dollar, that wave count can help you forecast what is likely to take place with the euro dollar. Sometimes you will see that, or a currency pair that is positively correlated to another currency pair may give you a little bit information looking at the price structure of that currency pair. You compare it to another currency pair that is positively correlated or negatively correlated. Why? Why negatively correlated? Sometimes, for instance, the, the, the US dollar Swiss franc currency pair is negatively correlated to the euro dollar. So you may count wave on the euro dollar and you count your waves also on the uh, US dollar Swiss franc. You may see something clearly on the US dollar Swiss franc that may contradict what's happening with the euro dollar. With that information, you can forecast the next price move for the euro dollar. So it does not matter when we are using currency pair, whether they are positively correlated or negatively correlated. We can use it for comparison purposes. The wave count by comparison is very useful for forex traders. And also for stock traders, talking about stocks that belong to the same group, okay, indices, all right, market leaders, we can use them, all right. And sometimes you will have a niche, all right? You see that uh, the market leaders already has already exhibited the pattern before the index. So, for instance, you may see Apple stock will give you a clear indication about where the Nasdaq 100 is likely to go, or vice versa. Or the Nasdaq 100, you counted five wave already; it's already in place. And you will see some stock, especially if you are trading stock, there are some stock that mimic the index. They, fall, they form the shape and the form all the time of the index itself. 
With those information, you see, so if a cycle is already completed with uh, the index, some stores that often, okay, duplicate the index. If they are behind, sometimes you have, a, 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 they are lagging, they haven't completed the pattern here, or sometimes they will complete the pattern before the index, which is good. So it's like you know what is likely to happen because you know that those two financial instruments are in fact twins, <laughs> all right, so to speak. Do you find it useful? All right, let me know in the comment section. And this is the end of this tutorial about uh, Idea Wave uh, a Trader. Explain a parallel wave count strategy. If you have any question or suggestion, please put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video uh, to answer your specific question. We are the TSTW24 Trader, talking about Idea Wave Trader. Explain a parallel wave count strategy. Happy trading to you all and speak to you soon.